What's going on? We're doing something a little bit different today. A little bit of a different kind of install today. Instead of just radios, we are doing cameras and radios. We're out here at the Phoenix Rod and Gun Club, my favorite place to hang out. Awesome place here in the Phoenix area. They got 200 yard, 100 yard is up that way and even 500 yard. You can shoot 500 yards here, it's pretty awesome. They got a tack bay, like a steel bay. They got a regular range. They got small bore. And around the corner over there, they have another tack bay kind of thing where uh, they do like uh, steel competitions and stuff. It's a good time, a lot of fun. And then over here is where they do like pistol competition kind of things, like um, bullseye competition sort of things. So, all kinds of fun out here. But the range master out here, a good friend of mine, Ben, he uh, found out that I do networking things and camera things and everything, and he was like, hey, could you uh, maybe upgrade us? Well, yeah, I can do that. He got some quotes from some companies and they were like, asking like six grand. It was like, oh my God, you're crazy. So definitely did better than that for him. <laughs> but the old cameras that they had, they only had a few. I don't even know if they work anymore. So what we're doing is the good old Herb is up there. He's putting three cameras up there. So one is gonna look um, at the parking lot where I am. One's gonna look at the steel practice bay over there. And the other one's gonna look at the 100 yard line up there. So good coverage up there. So up there, there's three, um, three cameras, a loco, little radio, and it's all powered off of a Netonics. The Loco is gonna connect over here to this. On this pole, we're gonna have a light AP GPS for that to connect to. And the bullseye range is getting a camera and a Loco, and the front gate is getting a camera and a Loco. All three of those are gonna connect to the light AP GPS up here. So we don't have point-to-point -point connections all over the place. Like, you know, it'd be kind of stupid to do it that way. So light AP GPS, um, a big Natonic switch, a 60 gig LR, one of the AF60 LRs, is going to John's tower. Gonna get him some connection because, no joke, the company they're with right now, charging him $160 a month for five megs. He told me that and I'm like, no way. And he ran a speed test and no shit, five down and two up, 160 bucks a month. I'm like, I need to raise my damn prices. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, up there, we're gonna have the light AP. Um, there is gonna be a loco up there because the, the tech bay down there is getting a camera too. We're just gonna do a point to point for that. Uh, there's gonna be two cameras up there, one looking at the small bore range and one looking at the, the public range. So two cameras, a light AP, a loco, the, LF6, or the AF60 LR, uh, all powered by a giant Netonic switch, um, and we're gonna string a cable across. In there, uh, there's gonna be another camera on the front of that building as well. And in this building is where I put the server to run all the cameras. These are the cameras, uh, Amcrest, PoE, same stuff I use at home. Helps if I get it in frame, you idiot. These are the cameras, Amcrest, PoE, same ones I use at home, they're great. Uh, and it's all running off of an Amcrest PoE switch and being recorded on a Synology little disk station thing. This software is actually pretty slick because that little tiny thing, which is silent by the way, will run, I don't even know how many cameras, but runs all the cameras. <laughs> a little bit of delay, but yeah, pretty awesome. It'll live stream, it'll do um, all the recording, archiving, everything. There's two disks in there, uh, I believe four terabyte disks, and I did RAID 1, so if one of them die, still good to go, just swap it out. Uh, I think there's four terabyte drives, I don't, I don't remember. Either four or eight, I don't remember, I think four, but Either way, plenty of storage space. So yeah, nine cameras total. Little server, um, one, two, three, 
uh, three locos, I think. Uh, Light AP GPS, the AF60LR, uh, a couple PoE switches, and a uh, little server, a little disk station. Disk station. Not a small job, but not a huge job either. Good time. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, time for a wrap up. It's been a uh, well, probably two weeks now. Thought we had some hardware issues, and then I can barely walk. Uh, wasn't able to walk at all for a while, and blah blah blah. You know how it goes. So we're all done. We're all up and running. Let me show you the the finished product here. This is what I call the main pole. You can see the 60 on the top, the uh, light AP GPS, and then over on the side right here is a loco, which is going to the tack bay over that way. And it all runs down the pole into the box. In the box is a uh, Natonix 8 port. This is the um, AC version because there's literally power right here. So the power just goes right up in, plugs into the switch, boom, up and running. This powers the 60, the sector, the loco, and it also has a cable going back to the main building, which is up there. And it goes over, ties everything into the building. There's also a camera here. It's like on the other side of this wall. It was originally up there, but it didn't quite have the angle that they wanted, so they took it down and put it on the wall right here. That's what this cable is. So that, uh, the loco, the sector, the 60, the whole nine yards runs off of this bad boy right here. Gotta love Natonix, they're the best. It's in there screaming too, it's probably pretty toasty, even though it's not even hot out yet. <laughs> the loco on here, you can see it right there, is just pointing over to, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's, it's over there. The building, there, there's a building and a little awning over there. They do um, steel competitions and stuff over there. So they wanted to be able to see uh, a couple of the bays over there, the, the spot under the awning, all that kind of stuff. So that goes that way. And that's just a point to point because it's easier that way. This is the, the main range, the public range. And up on the pole, there's three cameras, a box where the Natonix lives, and you can see the loco facing us that goes back to the, uh, the main pole over there. And that's all tied in together. It all runs off of a single PoE injector because Natonix are amazing. All just off one PoE injector. Uh, that goes up to the camera. Just a single cable. Well, up to the Natonix, I should say. Powers the Natonix and all the cameras. And then it also powers the Loco that sends it all back to the light beam. I can't see it from here, sorry. <laughs> yeah, one of those are ours. I don't know what the two are. Oh, the there's actually an old Omni on top. I'm not 100% sure what they used it for. It was some network thing, but that's what the other cable is. Only one of those are mine. And then it goes straight up like that. Three cameras into the box of the Natonix. Back to the network with the loco. Unimus. So we got the one on the main building here. Looking up the street so you can see who's coming and all that. And then there's another one in the bullseye range. It's right about there inside. And you can see the loco right there. And that just goes back to the light AP as well. You can't see it from here, but it's the same kind of deal on the main gate. There's a camera looking down at the main gate, and then we put a loco looking back this way at the light AP. So that's on the network that way. That's on the network radios. This one, we just literally plug in inside. So it's <laughs> pretty easy. And this is the final product. We got all nine cameras running. Uh, some of them are running higher resolution, like this one, it's running 1944, uh, because this one, they want to be able to zoom in. 
and still keep it looking nice, which it does. Everything looks really, really good. Good stuff. And it's all being recorded on the little disc station. So all in all, all done. Uh, came out really, really good. They're happy with it, which means I'm happy with it. <laughs>